Hi everyone, in this video, we are going to discuss this set A and we are going to prove that it is not a compact subset of R2D where it is a Euclidean distance. Here I have written a given information. The most important thing is matrix space R2D where D is a Euclidean distance. As well as I have written a set here and we have to prove that it is not compact in R2D. So let me mention here to prove that A is not compact in R2D. So let us find a set here. Okay, so A is a collection of all points of R2 which will satisfy these conditions. Here we have many inequalities. So we will replace by equality so we can easily find the curves. Let me mention here, if I replace this inequality by equality, the first equation is x is equal to 1. If you replace this inequality by equality, y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 by x. So x is equal to 1, this is the equation of line parallel to y axis passes through this x is equal to 1. Okay, y is equal to 0, this is the equation of x axis and y is equal to 1 by x. If you shift x here, so x y is equal to 1. So this is the equation of hyperbola, rectangular hyperbola. So it looks like this, okay, this type of rectangular hyperbola we have, okay. See here they have clearly mentioned x is greater than or equal to 1 that means on that side of x, this line getting y is greater than or equal to 0 that means above x axis and bounded by this hyperbola also. So this is the region we have this is set A getting this set A. So in this way we got the set. Let me remove this one. So now our target is to prove this set is compact. So there is so much important result in a matrix space R2D. So let us recall that result first and using it, we will prove that it is not compact, okay? That result is in R2D, a set is compact if and only if it is close and bounded, getting? It means this, if the set is compact, definitely it is close and bounded. And if the set is close and bounded, then it is compact, get it? Uh, this result is true in R2D, right? So here we have to prove the set is not compact. That means either we have to prove it is not close or we have to prove it is not bounded. So by observing this diagram, we can easily see the set is not bounded along x axis in a positive direction of x axis there is no limit it is going to infinity so that's why we can say it is not bounded but this thing we have to prove so let me mention here it is it is enough to prove that enough to prove that a is not bounded so now the question is how to prove the given set A is not bounded. So there is very simple technique. So that technique is that is to prove that A is not subset of any ball with center 0, 0 radius R for all R greater than 0. It should be true for all R greater than 0. It means we have to find one point uh, which is in A but it does not belong to this ball. Then we can say A is not subset of that ball. So let us find that point, okay? So I will start with let R greater than zero be given. I'm taking any radius R greater than zero, okay? And what we have to do, we have to find one point which lies in A, but which is not in ball. So let us take one point here. With the help of this R, I'm going to define our point. So let xy which is equal to r comma 1 by r belongs to r2 so i have taken one point xy which is equal to r comma 1 by r so obviously our x is r and our y is 1 by r so first of all we have to prove that this point lies in a after that we will prove that this point does not belong to this ball okay uh, i'm going to do just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us continue now. So we have chosen x, y, right? This point r is equal to r comma 1 by r. So now we have to prove that that point belongs to this a. But see, one more condition I'm adding here. 
I have taken R greater than 0 be any given, but C, I will choose R should be greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so it will be easy to prove then. And 1 is clearly greater than 0. So obviously R is greater than 0, but one condition I have added here. See then, what is our X? Our X is R, right? And R is greater than or equal to 1. R is greater than or equal to 1. So the first condition is satisfied. I hope all of you understood why I have added this condition here to satisfy this one. Getting? Let us talk about Y. So Y is equal to 1 by R. So obviously it is greater than 0. It is greater than 0 since R is a positive real number, right? And Y is equal to 1 by X. You can easily see x and y are simply reciprocals of each other. So that's why I can write y is equal to 1 by x. See, x is greater than or equal to 1. So this condition is satisfied. y is greater than 0. That condition is also satisfied. And y and x are reciprocal of each other. And here equality is mentioned. So all conditions are satisfied. So therefore, I can declare x, y belongs to A. So now we have to prove. Now, to prove that that x, y does not belong to the ball with center 0, 0 radius r. Let us see how to prove. We have to prove that that point does not belong to ball. That means point lies outside a ball. Getting? So let me draw the diagram. Suppose we have a ball like this with center 0, 0. We have to prove x, y does not belong to ball. That means we have to prove that point lies outside a ball. So what will I do? I will find the distance between that point and the center of ball and it should be greater than it should be greater than radius of ball which is r getting so let us find the distance so consider d of x y 0 0 we are finding the distance of that point from the center of ball we are familiar with a formula of distance distance formula says square root of x minus 0 square plus y minus 0 square which is equal to square root of it is simply x square plus y square. So now I will put the values of x and y our x is r and y is 1 by r. It is equal to r square plus 1 by r square. Obviously if you drop 1 by r square we will have this inequality greater than r square since i have dropped 1 by r square which is a positive real number so that's why if you reduce it uh, so value will reduce if you drop it square square root cancel and we will have r so our conclusion is d of x y 0 0 we were finding distance and here we got which is greater than r see greater than r that means point the distance of point from the center of ball is greater than radius that means point lies outside a ball so let me mention that thing just make a screenshot of it so therefore let me mention here therefore that point x y does not belong to this ball with center 0 0 radius r so finally we got one point x y which is in A, but it, which is not in ball. So therefore, therefore A is not subset of ball with center 0, 0 radius R. But see, R is any positive real number we have taken getting, which is greater than or equal to 1. So I should mention this is for all R greater than 0. Getting? So it is true for all R greater than 0. So therefore, we can say A is not bounded. Therefore, a is not bounded set in R2D. See, but in R2D, when we can say the set is compact, it should be closed and it should be bounded. But see, it is not bounded. So that's why we will declare it is not compact. So therefore, A is not compact in R2D. So in this way, we completed this example. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.